Okay, chat, this is Metal Gear Solid on the N-Gage. It was released in 2008 on Nokia's N-Gage 2.0 digital service. This was their next attempt at pushing gaming on mobile devices. So it's like a weird mix of Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. And it takes about two hours to finish. Um, but I can give you a quick look at it since Snake is now on Fortnite for some reason. And, um, the end gauge is like, what, what is it? It's like, oh, that's, that's a little weird. The way his neck turned. It's, wow, that's a weird snake model. He's like, <laughs> wait a minute. He looks like, he doesn't really look like solid snake. His chin is, is weird. Who is this guy? Kinda of loses a bit of its impact without any music or sound effects. Alright, um, let's do some VR training. Uh, to start. I have controls here to help. Now, yeah, the end gauge was like, um, a mobile... It's like a fucking cell phone with buttons that looked like Goatsy, basically. And uh, I remember it being a joke when it came out. Uh-oh. Resume game, please. Thank you. I'm gonna have to refer to the controls. I have the, the controls here. The so first person is Z. Uh, we got movement. Codec. Press A to equip. So we're going to equip that. Alright. We got the action button here. It's... Okay, so it's reminiscent of Metal Gear Solid 1, but then you also get... The, um... First person aiming. I did it. Okay, so there's a couple different weapons in here. Uh, the SOCOM. Is this level a smiley face? Least satisfying pistol sound effect ever. Well... Okay, there's a pretty generous auto lock on. I mean, it's not even that bad to play with just the mouse, um, just keyboard. No mouse, just keyboard. But okay, um... Alright, uh, how do we return sneaking mode? So we're just gonna do new game and see... Is there a story? Is there, like... Colonel. Oh, it's this again. So no build up, no music. He's just in there with his chin and he is sneaking around already in the base. Full diapered up. <laughs> oh, shit. He looks like Jerry from Rick and Morty from the side. Snake Leno? Nah, Colonel. It's me. It's like Fortnite Snake. This is Snake, Atacon. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Snake. Have you entered the facility? I'm in the utility area, the top level. Getting in was a little easier than I expected. Well, you are the best. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get down to business. After the Shadow Moses incident, Revolver Ocelot put Metal Gear technology on the black market. 
Now every major superpower and a few minor ones are rushing to equip themselves. Production facilities have sprung up across the globe, racing day and night to build a working model. Sprinting towards destruction. Precisely. The building you're in right now is one such facility. We need to find out as much about the production process as possible. Have the original plans been altered in any way? Any exploitable flaws? Look for intel. Gain the upper hand. Exactly, Snake. Who's our source? A scientist from inside the facility. Can they be trusted? I don't know yet. I know, I know, but the intel they provided us hasn't been reliable. Has been reliable so far. Yeah, maybe you should have considered that before I infiltrate a heavily guarded facility. So just look around for nerds. And then you can call on the codec. Okay, so first person, um, looking for the sneaking button. I don't think I can make the volume of this any louder. Hang on. I mean, it's it's Metal Gear Solid 1-ish music. Yeah, I'm at 100% volume. This is set between 1 and 2, but it's non-canon, and the ending was a thread that was never followed up on. It's weird because it almost looks like a real Metal Gear game. Wait, does that... Did that say Jork? There's a guard up ahead of you. I can see that. Try not to get spotted, Snake. Try to keep a low profile. Use your silenced M9 pistol. Really, Otacon. Here. Why don't you drive for a bit? Please, Snake, try to take this seriously. One of those darts carries enough anesthetic to knock out an elephant. Okay. Any more words of wisdom? I mean, it, it's... You pretty much only have four directions that you can walk in. Um, but it, it's... Yeah, this is, like, strangely competent so far. I don't think you can, like, crawl around on the ground like a snake, which is a little disappointing. Yeah, those fucking boxes say Jork. You can, but only at designated spots. A surveillance camera. Yes, the music is kind of repetitive. Um, yeah, but yes, it is very reminiscent of Metal Gear 1, which... Dude. No, we're... No, I got you. Like, yeah, how do I get down there? Because there, there is... Oh, you have to press the action button. And then you can, like, shimmy your way down. Okay. This makes me realize that I would actually play a new classic MGS1 slash 2 style Metal Gear game. If it was... Like, yeah, set between Metal Gear 1 and 2, and it was, like, good. Like... Why the fuck not? Obviously, mechanically, this is a lot simpler, but it, it's convincing enough. I don't know what the codec button is. Q. Snake, I could only get you a level 1 keycard. You're gonna need a level 2 keycard to get through that door. 
No double dipping. Ugh, I've always double dipped my node. You know that out of con. Where are we dropping, Snake? Oh, not a cunt. The camouflage sampler doesn't seem to be working. Really? Let me have a look at the remote diagnostics. I think it may have got banged up during infiltration. You're right. A rough entry might must have caused some of the suit's color sampling and mimicking systems to lose power. I'm going to have to reboot the suit from here. How long will that take? Could be a while. Looks like it took quite a beating. Uh... Oops. Oh, oh god. Okay, so it's, it's, yeah, they actually have to call on radio. Guards don't just, like, instantly teleport in. Who's that? <laughs> that frog you're posting in chat. Hmm, the Gormly Lulai Lo. Man, Otacon's chatty. According to the plans I downloaded, it looks like there's a node in the upper right of the room. There's a guard standing in the way. Try knocking on the wall. Uh, it's, yeah, a lot of tutorial stuff is happening. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. I think I pressed the wrong button a couple times in a row there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's still Metal Gear, kind of. Man, if I had an N-Gage, I would have loved the two hours I spent with this back in the day. And then been disappointed with every other release. This was for regular phones, not the original N-Gage. Pretty cool for a phone game for, from 15 years ago. Yeah, not, not too bad. Not a con. I need a password to access the terminal. Do you know what it is? I don't, but our contact should. I'll try to connect you via codec. That's weird. The scientist's frequency has been encrypted. Trouble? I don't think so. Could we have triggered a, a silent alarm? Unlikely. This terminal isn't on the main security system. We can upgrade your card creep key level from here. I can read. It's late. <laughs> Without worry of detection. Uh, once we get the password. Precisely. Hang on a second. I've got an idea. I'm going to patch you through to a frequency tuning subsystem. From there, your nanomachines will allow you to visualize and stabilize the frequency. Think of it as a game, Snake. A game? Yes. All you need to do is follow the blue path. The closer you keep to it, the quicker you'll decrypt the frequency. You can use your phone camera to move up and down. Oh. Okay. Wow. 
Hello, hello, snake. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? No, I just didn't expect you to be a woman. So cute. Okay, we're doing that line again. One four two point six nine, eh? You flatter me, snake. Yeah, what's a pretty girl like you doing in a place like this, anyway? I'm an artificial intelligence specialist on the Metal Gear Pro. Not that I'm complaining, Doctor. Reed, Doctor Reed. I turned to us for help. I was so naive when I started here. I thought my work would be used for good, to help people, always. But instead it's being used to create a weapon of mass destruction, and I couldn't live with the blood of others on my hands. What sort of payload are these Metal Gears going to be carrying anyway? I don't know. The specifics of their armaments have been kept secret so far. Where are you now? In the security control room waiting for you. It's one floor down. Find the elevator. I'll take you to the collect... It'll take you to the correct floor. You get the idea. Otacon's an old pro. He's already managed to hack in. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, if I took my time to read this, I could do a pretty... I could do it a little bit of justice. Not too much justice, a little bit. But yeah. We'll, um, we'll go down the elevator and uh, probably stop there. I mean, you get the idea. The game's kind of neat. I also am kind of semi-impressed by this. If it was, again, a little bit more mechanically advanced and it was a little longer than two hours, I might consider a full playthrough. Who is this? We'll talk more soon. Otacon, what the hell just happened? Who was that? What are you talking about? I'm showing no record of any recent Kodak communication activity. Dude, I shot you in the head. Several times. Like, I don't think you can actually, like, go over the edge. There's a weird lock-on system that, it's like, it kind of makes it hard to, it slows down your reticule. Reticle. Oh. I'm out of ammo. Uh, okay. Got it. Oh, I'm going this way anyway, it's fine. But it also makes it harder for you to, like, actually lock on, or, or rather, um, track an enemy. Also, four directions is a little rough. But, for the limitations of the, um... Engage, and I guess people were saying it's just mobile, like in general. I, I'm pretty impressed by this. As you've heard me say several times. Oh, you can choke people out, that's nice. Snake loves choking people out. What happens when you die? Probably, I would imagine, kind of, maybe something like... I'll show you. Maybe you go to hell before you die, or maybe it's something like this. So, going in lockers is a Metal Gear Solid 2 thing. Ow. Yeah, I was waiting to use that bit, that little video, for a while. So, thanks, chat member. <laughs> Cold drink. J-Bip. Oh, 
Okay, yes, designated crawling points. So this is 2007. I do wonder if visually things were a little bit more powerful than the PS1 in some ways, and in other ways maybe not so much. Oh, I fucked up. It's the wrong way. PSP was like 04. Yeah, but this was like phones. Don't you people have phones? Remember that? Man, not a single item. It looks like it is somewhat better graphically than PS1, but just barely. Well, it's it's certainly I got an achievement. It certainly looks like Metal Gear. I don't think Kojima had anything to do with this, <laughs> especially not uh, Snake's chin. Wait, what the fuck? Oh no, Snake, you're purple now! Otacon, something's happening to the suit! Feels like it's charging up. Looks like the reboot fixed the problem. If you sample a color, then lean against the wall of the same color, you should be hidden from any guard's sight. However, moving will make you more noticeable. What about surveillance cameras? Won't work on them, I'm afraid. You should test it out now. Move the camera. If you don't have a suitable camera, or you're in a place where you can't use the camera, you can use the in-game sampler. What does that mean? The in-game... In oh, that's kind of cool. You know what? That is actually very cool for this game. Yeah, you could just like... Take pictures of, of stuff. And then I guess you could use your phone in real life too. I need something very bright and colorful I can take a picture of. This camo was N-Gage exclusive. Okay, so this game was, like you said, it was on, or like others said, it was on other platforms. Or uh, it just like a cell phone thing in general, but also N-Gage. Whoa, that guy was walking weird. Um, so N-Gage had this. This version was for the Engage 2.0 service for Nokia phones. Very good. Well, there's the game over. I just want to take one good picture and get a, a really non-sneaky sneaking suit box. Wait, how do you equip the box? Press left on the equip screen. 
See, like, I can't actually keep up with that dude. He's going too quick. And my... The reticle slowed down so much. Boy, am I just wasting ammo. Oh yeah, there's rations, there's the box, there's the uh, camera. I want that one red pixel. Can I get that? That one singular red pixel? No? Alright. They don't let you get too wacky. You get a little wacky. Like, that's kind of wacky. Red snake. Holy shit. Exposition dump hallway. Just missed it. Shit camo rating. Alright, chat, I think I have to go to bed now. I'm, I'm tired, but... You know, this is very playable. And I'm playing it with a keyboard, and it's not bad. Um, but yeah, it, it's a game that exists that I... probably knew about at some point. I wouldn't have picked up an N-Gage for it, but, you know, if I had... If I had the means to play this at the time, I definitely would have been on this shit, but uh, I probably didn't. It took me quite a while to actually get a, uh, oh. It took me a while to get a reasonably powerful cell phone that wasn't just like a Nokia, like, um, basic screen shit phone, like the bricks. And I didn't have a, like a, even a touch screen phone for a long time too. It took me a while. I was, I was stuck on the flip phone, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching tonight. This was fun, except when my brain was broken completely. But I hope you enjoyed um, stopping by for Sunday stream. If you're wondering, um, next Sunday I'll also be going through some random shit. I've got a number of other bad games to attend to. I don't know when I'm going to do another Wheel of the Weird. That might be maybe once every couple months. Will you be streaming the Game Awards? Uh, well, I, I don't know yet. I still don't know. But I will be live Tuesday with. Um, I'll be live Tuesday with Cyberpunk Update, and I'll look at the GTA trailer, talk about it. We'll be doing more Mario RPG. I'm going to try to do some RoboCop, and uh, I might have some more multiplayer hijinks as well. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and see you during the week. If not, I'll see you uh, next Sunday. So, take care. Oh! <laughs>